what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel it is the fifth and final part of my immaculate 2022 break the full entire case all five boxes it all comes down to this we have had some amazing pulls so far so let's see if we can end off on a high note also for those that heard a couple videos ago i do have seven prism hobby boxes i have to open among many other things for the channel here so don't forget to stay tuned for that stuff let's go ahead and open up this bad boy and we will reveal what is inside you gotta take the box outside the box outside the box it's a long complicated thing you have to do in order to get into the cards have you ever wanted to put your custom touch on your sports cards and their one touches well i have the perfect solution for you go over to coyotestickers.com get a full sheet of stickers that look just like this and you want to put them on top of your one touches and then you have a very nice special piece for your collection very good price on these stickers highly recommend them top quality even our buddy king louise puts these on his custom cards before he sends them out cannot recommend them enough if you would like to support me click the link down in the description and order your custom one touch stickers today all right we're going to cut the seal on the back and get into this goodness as you guys know we have one base two patches and three autographs We've pulled the one of one. We've pulled the limited Shawn Michaels auto. Pulled the limited Hulk Hogan auto redemption. We got the Randy Orton redemption. Let's go ahead and take these out. Put the custom coin card on top of it. We're going to have to flip it over off camera once we get to that. And you guys know the deal. We have seen it. This is the last voiceover video because I am figured out what I did wrong. So, let's go ahead and see our base card, and hopefully it starts things off pretty good. We got Kevin Owens out of 65. Every single base card that I pulled was out of 65. I didn't get any numbered versions of those, which I'll live with it. You know how it is. But now, it's time to get into the stuff that everybody wants. Our first patch is a Lacey Evans. 22 out of 25 for the standout memorabilia. I like that it has the E actually in the patch. It's the same set as the AJ that we pulled in the last video. So I think that's a really good set. And I really want to go look and see how more from that specific set look. And there's the comparison between the Lacey and the AJ. Very nice there. If only we would have got one of those for our one of one instead of Roderick Strong. Our next patch is going to be none other than Jordan Devlin, or my bad, J.D. McDonough. This is the Performance Center shirt, I think. I could be wrong. There's a little bit of lint on the thing there. I had to get that off. But this is numbered out of 27. Yeah, I think this is the Performance Center shirt. Maybe? I don't know. Who knows? Who cares? But... It is nice to get that after we pulled our Joe Gacy shirt card. But now it is time for the three autographs. I wish we would have gotten all autographs or something. I said, I just, I'm not a big patch person unless it's an insane patch. But our first autograph is Blair Davenport on the Shadow Box subset. It's weird that it's called Shadow Box, considering the fact that there's no Shadow Box whatsoever. But a nice, clean signature by her. I like her autograph for its simplicity, because you can read it, but like other people, they go extra simple, and they just put like their initials, and you, you, it's, it's a waste of time. At least she writes out her name. Our next autograph is going to be Michael P.S. Hayes on the Immaculate Inductions. This is actually a really cool one to pull. It's out of 99, sadly. But this is from, well, this photo is from his Hall of Fame speech when the Freebirds got inducted. Very nice card. Number 62 out of 99. And it's just, it's really nice. It's actually on eBay right now if you want it. And I, I like that card. I have no personal use for it in my collection. But let's get into this final card. All this 
It's like two thousand dollars worth of product. All comes down to our last autograph, and it is Oscar Patch Auto out of ninety nine. This is the same set that my Randy Orton redemption would be from. I looked on eBay, and Oscar's prices are absolutely insane right now people are asking astronomical prices for everything so i think that might be with her little character change at the royal rumble but that is just you know all the stuff we have pulled from these prison boxes all the autographs and i appreciate you guys for joining me on this journey and i hope you enjoyed everything that we got as always don't forget to like comment subscribe and last but not least take it easy thanks